from Baltimore, welcome inside Oriole Park at Camden Yards. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. And now, yo. Just about set to go. On the hill here today, Tyler Wells. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. This one lifted in the air, left field. Hayes makes the grab one down. Bo Bichette up to the dish. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Bo Bichette, second round pick, 2016, and a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. His dad, Dante, played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy, all he wants to do is win. A gamer goes hard and wants to lead that ball club to a championship. And the right-hander deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Lifted in the air, out to left. Hayes has it sized up. And that is that. Middle of the first. And into the box for Baltimore, Leading Austin off. Hayes. The left fielder, Austin. And a pitch. Hayes. Stays alive. The wind in the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Biggio makes the catch, and there's one away. Here's Adley Rutschman. Yes. Going to count one and two. Kikuchi, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Two outs, space is empty. Anthony Santander now at the plate. That one That's off the mark, and it's two and one. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash, and because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Three up, three down. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that. And that's off the inside edge. Two and two. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage. But it's close enough to where you've got to protect. And he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. Got him swinging. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of this start, so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Bottom half of inning number two. So now the Orioles' cleanup hitter, Gunnar Henderson. One and two here. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The one, two. Out to center. Kiermaier moving under it. 
and makes the grab. And there's one down. And now the first baseman, Ramon Urias. And a 1 1. Way high. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Here is James McCann. One one to McCann. And another oh. ball. Two and one. Second inning here, no score. Good eye right there. And a 3-1 on the way. Inside corner for a strike. Three ball, two strike. In the air, out towards right center. Kiermaier tracks it down for the out. Nothing doing this time. Back here at the ballpark, here's Kevin Kiermaier. The 1-1. And there's a the ball. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Fly ball to right. Santander drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. Danny Jansen to hit here. The catcher, number nine. Danny. 1-1 one, one now. Jansen. And that's outside. That just misses. And that's ball three. Top of the third, no score. And that is cut on and missed. And that is strike two. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. One down, base is empty. And that one hit to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two up, two down. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And here it comes. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Next offering is down low. And that's ball two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Next offering is down low. Bo Bichette on deck for the Blue Jays. And now it's filled up. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The one two. And that one is inside. Two and two. And a good eye there. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. 
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy that laying is. off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. And stepping in is the speedy Ryan McKenna. In there at the knees. And out two and two. Mateo leads off first with one away. That one outside. Okay. And that's ball three. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand He's that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. He goes down looking. Well, oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite hey. arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked yeah. up by the heart. Mateo runs. Oh. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. That one to first. Guerrero takes it himself. That's the third out. Inning over. And the Orioles leave one. Back here in Baltimore. Start of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop. Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette. Three, two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, he opted to go with the off-speed stuff on that 3-2 with the bases empty. Close pitch. But now he's got to work out of the stretch. Next offering upstairs. And that's a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Ground ball left side could be two. Quick feed to second for one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5 4 3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Here comes a pitch. Falling behind oh. two and one. The Jays yet to pick up a hit here. And it's even up. Swing and a base hit. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now here is Whit Merrifield. And a pitch. That one out to right. It falls in, and that's a knock. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Check swing. Appeal to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Righty to the plate. This to center field. McKenna puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. Bottom of the fourth, and now the DH, Adley Rutschman. In the air, right field. 
And it drops in. So a runner aboard to start the inning. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. So next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. 0 for 1 with a fly out. 3-1 now. There's a strike. No outs, runners at first and second. Sets him down looking. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. And a 2-1 on the way. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Rutschman over at second. Santander at first. One gone. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. And there's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. One down. James McCann in now. The 1-1. One -one. That one hit to right. Biggio squeezes it. Runner tags from third. Throw home. Not in time. The run scores. And it's 1 0. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough. And that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And that one is lifted in the air. Biggio brings it in with a nice run and grab. One. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. The center fielder, Kevin. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Keegan Aiken is up and throwing for Brandon High. Perez getting cranked up as well. Next offering upstairs. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Now it's Jansen to hit. Grounded out his first time up. Ball to strike. The pitch. And now one and two. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. The next pitch misses. Two and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Two two now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Rudder at first with no outs here. Got him. One away. Coming on for the Orioles, Keegan Aiken. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Next offering is in for a strike. Now snap throw to first. Kiermaier back in. That misses. And the count is two and two. Him looking, that's a strikeout. 
Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And now the lefty lays down the line. Could be extra bases. Kiermaier around second, headed for third. The run scores all the way from first. It's 1-1. One -one. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Bounce to third. Tosses to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. All even at one. Back now at Oriole Park. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Joseph Ortiz. Strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. And a pitch. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that three two count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. At the belt and fires. Inside just missed. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Kikuchi over to first, and he's back safely. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch misses outside, and the count's full. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Thomas Hatch. You know, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. That one in for a strike, two and two. This is an opportunity to do some damage, but you've got to be selective. Make sure you get a pitch that you can handle. Strike three, got him looking on the changeup. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Adley Rutschman, one for two. Righty delivers. On the ground a second, might be two. Over to Bichette, and that's two. Top six, and now for the Jays, Dalton Varsho. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. In the dirt. McCann down to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. And now it's one and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. In the air, left field. Hayes ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And it falls. And that keeps the inning going. So two down. So up next for Toronto, Matt Chapman. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And that one a little bit high.
Now moves to first. Hey. Next pitch is outside. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And now it's filled up. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second. Welcome back. There we go, bottom six. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Here's a one-two. Gets a piece and stays alive. And down on strikes. Snap bro. Digging in. Gunnar Henderson. The wind of the pitch. And one and two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. And that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. Orioles held in check there. Still tied. 1-1. Danny Coulomb will take over here. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Next pitch inside, and it's 2-1. And it's strike two. Next pitch misses. Counts full, three and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. And next for Toronto, Danny Jansen. Number nine, Danny Jansen. The one-two. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Number 78 up and loosening in the pen. Two-two now. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now the right fielder, Kevin Biggio. He's 0 for 1. Biggio. Swing and a miss. It's 2 and 2. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball. On the ground. Sends it to first. And the Blue Jays go down 1, 2, 3. Order go the Blue Jays. Score remains tied 1 1. Bottom of the inning, and here's the catcher, James McCann. Next one misses, now 3 and 1. And that's in for a strike. Three ball, two strike. Right handed reliever. And that's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's one and two. Grounder might be two. Takes it to the bag. That's one. Puts the tag on him, and it's a double play. And next for the Orioles, Joseph Ortiz. The 1-1. One, one. 
That one missed. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And the righty deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. That's out to center field. He's got it. And that'll do it. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 78. Well, you see the ERA very solid. And that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Bo Bichette digs in down. He's got the power but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Check swing, now we'll look down to first. And he won around just enough that time. And he deals. Bounce to the right, Ortiz. In plenty of time to first. And Bichette is retired. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. That one finds the zone. One and two. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Mike Bauman is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. One, two. Bows it back with two strikes. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Mateo on the run. Throw to first. And that's the third out. Blue Jays go down. Back here at the ballpark. Stepping in, Ryan McKenna. No, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The pitch. Next offering is outside. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Austin Hayes. Next to bat for Baltimore. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Makes the grab. And there's one down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in Up front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. Right-hander kicks, deals. Popped up first base side. Guerrero pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away. Adley Rutschman getting ready to hit. One for three. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And that's a swing according to umpire Ed Drummond. The wind of the pitch. And a ball evens the count. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. He was all over that one. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. Yeah, and these days, you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Man at second. Line, and that's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score easily. And a 2-1 ball game now. In there, just beat the tag. It's a double. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there, he doesn't try to do too much. That's in there. That is strike two. 
Santander on its second with two down. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. He sends it out of here. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-1. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there. And that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Eric Swanson gets the call from the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. And here is Ramon Urias. Two outs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Snap throw. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Last chance coming up for the Blue Jays. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Felix Bautista. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof so far this season. The pitch. And a base hit into right. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, heading for two. The throw in. He's in there. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Next to hit, Whit Merrifield. And he grounds one to the right side. Gets it to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Now battle. And here is Matt Chapman. Ripped into right center. And now maybe extra bases. Runner from third comes across. And now just a two-run deficit. Not stopping. He's going for three. Not in time. He's safe. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Kiermaier now. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Good eye right there. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game. But they're going to make him work to get this save. The tying run at the plate. And it's filled up. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Danny Jansen waiting to hit for Toronto. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get him in the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Here's a one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Next offering upstairs. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. That one hops against the fence. In to score is the runner from third, and they trail by one. To second, but way too late, safe there. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. 
The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Brian Baker. Pretty big spot he's coming into trying to strand that runner at second base. So he's going to need to make some quality pitches. He does have first open if he needs to use it. Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. That looked like the pitcher was getting into a little trouble there, but quickly brought out a pitch that isn't what most hitters are looking for with that great velocity. But it was really good movement on the changeup and a nice win today.